Hey folks, Tony Lockhart here, and in this video, what I would like to do is to take all of these sketches that I have and to get them onto one piece of paper using the export function in Storyboard Pro. Okay, to get started, we would go to the File menu, go down to where it says Export, and click on PDF. I want to go and make sure that this is named appropriately, so if I want to, I can call this, you know, Panel or output, or I would give it some kind of a name. And you can see that it's gonna go um, to the desktop based on the location of the path. I can choose any one of these presets to select the, I guess the orientation or the layout of the illustrations. And I wanna make sure that I have all selected if I want all of my panels, which I do. And I'm gonna press export. Let's see what we get. Okay, so this is the name of my storyboard file, storyboard profile, and then you can see I have all my um, illustrations right here. Really cool, but the images are a little too small. So let's go back and customize a couple things. I wanna go down towards this button right here that says new profile, and I wanna set up a brand new one. So this one is gonna be called a three by three profile layout. So now that I'm giving it a name, I'm gonna go in and customize a few other features. So, you know, I can go in right here and I can change the size of the margins. So I'm gonna make them a little bit smaller from 36 down to 18. So that way I have more space for pictures. In the cover tab, I don't wanna cover, so I'm just gonna close or just unselect that one or deselect it because I don't need it. Now, if we go to the panels, it's, it has it set up where I have one row with three columns. I'm gonna up this to three by three, so that way I get nine total. There's a bunch of things that I can go and deselect or select over here. So I don't wanna show the panel header. I don't wanna show the frame header, so I'll deselect them. And I'm gonna turn off where it says the name. I leave this alone where it says fit camera path and things like that, the render camera. I'm not gonna mess with those because I won't get a picture if I do. So when we go to captions, I'm gonna turn that off as well. Cause again, I just wanna have, I don't want a storyboard, I just want a bunch of pictures. Let's go to header. I'm gonna take the header away. There's no footer and I don't need to worry about labeling right now. So now that I'm all set, I'm gonna click okay. And if you go through this uh, parameters list, at the bottom, you have this brand new one that you created. Let me select that. And I, again, I wanna make sure that all are selected. I'm gonna call this my, you know, BG, so background images, and I'll put final. So that way I know it's gonna go to the desktop and it's got the name that I want it to have and we can end by exporting. All right, so it looks like we're all set. We've got all of our images and they're pretty large on the sheet of paper. Um, we don't have any distracting um, you know, information boxes. We've got a nice wide set of margins. So I think we're good to go. Definitely give this a try. You don't have to do a three by three. You could do a two by two layout um, or a one by three, but just have some fun with this and give this a shot. See if you can go and make your own layout for your illustrations. All right, guys, thank you for watching the video.